Hi at Arctic Lights Adventures. Well, you can see we are in the middle of winter. Well, not really, but winter is here. It's snowing actually way more than the forecast said. And I apologize so much that I did not finish our camping in the Yukon Territory video series. It just doesn't feel right right now because it's winter and the videos are from summer. And why I did not work on more videos, maybe you can hear it, maybe you can see it, but over there is a reason why I had absolutely no time for videos and why this video will be a short one. And if you want to, more, st if you want to know more, stay tuned. One and a half years ago, you may remember, I think I was coloring Easter eggs when I announced, had a big announcement that Dave and I finally decided that we would uh, like to have sled dogs. We will not go on world travel or whatever, but we want to stay home and live the Alaska life. We want to start mushing as long as we are um, young enough and physically able to, to do so. Well, that was one and a half years ago. In the meantime, Dave built really these kennels, the puppy kennel. And for some reason this summer, somebody contacted us. Hey, do you want puppies? And this was kind of the start of our Wigme sled dogs. Um, we got puppies, we got two adult dogs. I will probably make many more videos explaining um, more about the puppies, more about the adult dogs, more about these kind of dogs which are just called sled dogs or Alaskan Huskies. But in this video I just want to show you how our daily routine totally changed within the last weeks and um, why I stayed off YouTube for so long and why I have so little time left in a day and hopefully this video will be done before the end of the winter. <laughs> you can tell we are super busy. We are super happy. It seems like we found our passion. We are working on sleds on um, the dog box for the trailer. We are running those dogs who are really do who really don't know what I'm talking about here right now. They're just watching me. And we have to entertain the golden retrievers as well. There's the whole topic is super complex. But um, over the next few videos, I hope I can explain more. Let's go back in time. It is the middle of September and Talvi and Tamo just moved in. They are Alaskan Huskies, which is just a nicer word for they are mutts. <laughs> mutts with a purpose, because they will be sled dogs. At least that's what we hope for. We also saw the first real frost. With a frozen beaver dam. Yeah. At the end of September and stuff is freezing. You see all the ice on see all the ice on the beaver dam. There's no in the forecast for next week. One week after the puppies, these two guys moved in. Camino to the left and Lumi to the right. We cannot run the puppies for, well, definitely not for this winter. And also when we start running the puppies, they need some adult dogs to show them what they are supposed to do. We started ATV training with them. First we ran in front, but later on they picked up very well what to do and they were able to run our routes. We got both dogs from Masha friends that we have. Actually the black one, Camino, is from the same kennel as the puppies are and the white one, Lumi, is from a Sprint Masha friend we have. Camino supposedly would do better in a smaller kennel like us and like ours and would enjoy more attention very much 
And then the white one, Lumi, also would enjoy a smaller kennel more. Plus, he was a distance dog. He started out as a distance dog and then was um, adopted by the sprint marshal for a ski during dog and then turned out that for competitive ski during he's just not fast enough he's just pacing himself down so she thought he would do better in a recreational team as well we are happy with these guys they have a basic idea of G and haw which means left and right and um, or right and left and um, both run pretty well in lead. We already had head-on passes and they did great. And the best of all, it seems like these two guys really like each other. All the sled dogs really changed our morning routine. After feeding the golden retrievers, we get dressed, yes, before we even have breakfast. And we will prepare breakfast for all the sled dogs outside. So come on, let's feed the dogs. We feed them soup, which is kibble soaked in water, because in the winter water would freeze, so to get um, the water supply for the dogs, we soak it in water. And every morning starts with playtime and cleaning the kennels and cleaning off snow, if there is any snow that we need to clean off. And um, yes, it's pretty busy. Especially the puppies get their playtime in. Okay, let's feed the big one. And after playtime, it's feeding time and cleaning time. Seems like this is all we do. Feeding, cleaning, feeding, cleaning, feeding, cleaning. And actually, it's a lot of fun. And with only four dogs, we have enough time to give each and every one a belly rub and cuddle time and play time and they get a lot of attention right now. The whole procedure with playtime and with cleaning time and feeding time takes approximately half an hour. Half an hour that we spent before our breakfast. And of course, Ari and Isla are already fed. Isla wakes us up every morning and she requests food. We would never forget them. Hi cuties. <coughs> also each and every day the two Goldies get their walk. We walk them three to four miles, sometimes a little bit longer, but we do this every day. 
We try to walk them off leash, but sometimes it's a walk on leash, but they really cannot complain about being neglected, even if they do. They get along with the puppies very well, but um, they still need some adjustment time to get along with the adult dogs. Besides taking care of all the dogs, we also have to take care of equipment. For example, we got this old sled that we restored and we are working on right now because hopefully within the next few months we will be on sleds and not on ATVs anymore. So one of the things having sled dogs now is having trail access to get onto all the trails that we have out here in Two Rivers and Pleasant Valley. From our house, previously, we would have had to go on the roads in order to reach the trails, which isn't really very easy and it's not really very safe. So now we finally have trails. And a few weeks ago, I put in this little stretch that goes from our lot to our power line access. And we can launch the dogs, set everything up from out here, and then come down this trail into the power line access. And so come along and we'll show you where the trails are. Here we're into the, the power line and right of way. And so this is nice and easy for us to do the dog slid down. And then two days ago, I cut in this little stretch here, which is on our property, but it's going to connect to some new trails that were just put in today. So we'll go on back and take a look at that. Huh. Okay. So here now, we're at brand new trail that one of our mushing neighbors just put in today that goes from her mushing business up by Chin Hot Springs Road and then goes through our neighbor's property with our neighbor's permission uh, to get back to another trail that will reach down to the uh, Two Rivers trails. So all of this with some firefighter friends of hers and I helped a little tiny bit, <clears throat> but all of this was just put in today in about three hours or three and a half hours. Well, I hope you understand that we were extremely busy finding into our new life as dog mushers, even if we only have four sled dogs and two golden retrievers. It's a lifestyle. It's not just a hobby. It really is a lifestyle and we really had to adjust to it. We love it. I think we found our passion, but it is a pre pretty busy day each and every day that we have here. I hope that in the future I can produce more videos and talking in detail about different topics of becoming a musher. We are beginners and um, the puppies are beginners and the older dogs of course they have some experience but I hope I can take you with us on our journey of becoming with me sled dogs. If you like this video you know Leave me a subscription and leave me a thumbs up. If you write a nice comment, that would be awesome as well. And as always, I say stay healthy, stay safe. See you next time. Bye.